Okay, this is the um, interactive notebook with the ladybug. I want to go over that page with you. So I want to start with your picture. So this is the picture you should have. So remember in subtraction, we only start, we're only going to use one number when we're dealing with pictures. And this number is showing us our biggest number that our problem started with, which was 423 ladybugs. And this comes from the problem right here. Molly saw 423 ladybugs. So this is what it's going to look like. You have four hundreds, two tens, and three ones. Now it tells us in our problem that 314 ladybugs flew away. Flew away, of course, is a clue word to let us know we're subtraction. And the question asks us how many are left. Left is another clue word that lets us know we're subtraction. So in our picture to show that 314 flew away, this is what we're going to do. We need to get rid of the 300s that flew away. So I'm just going to shade or X over 300 ladybugs. So 300 ladybugs just flew away. So these are gone. These 100, 300 ladybugs are gone. So we're left with 123. It also said that it was 314. So we got to get rid of a 10. Because 14, 10 is in the tens place. So this 10 ladybugs are gone too. So we've gotten rid of 300 and a 10. And now we have four ones that need to fly away, but we only have three ones. So we're, we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn this 10 into 10 ladybugs. So what I did is I had them draw 10 more ladybugs. And it doesn't have to be beautiful artwork. Mine is definitely not going to be. We just need to know that these are 10 ladybugs. So here we go. That's all I'm going to do. Now, if you want to be a little more fancy and put spots on them and a face on them, go for it. But for time's sake, we're just needing 10 ladybugs. So here they are. Now, these 10 ladybugs have not flown away yet. I have just rewritten them or rewrote them as one's place. So here's the 10. The 10 is still here that's left. Now I have four, no, sorry, 13. I have 13 ladybugs now. The 10 from this 10 circle and the three that I already had. Now we're going to give them four of them because we had a four in the ones place. So four of these ladybugs, one, two, three, four, flew away. So I still have these left. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ladybugs left. So anything that is not scribbled over or shaded in is still here. So how many ladybugs do I have left? We have 100, zero tens now, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine ones. So that's 109. And the reason there are no tens is because we had to regroup the ten into ten ones. Okay, on the other side, we're going to work through it, our problem. First box asks, what is the problem asking? It's asking how many ladybugs were left in the garden? Question mark. That's the question. Left is our clue word. I had them underline that. So we're getting used to finding these clue words. Draw a picture. We're going to do our base 10 blocks this time. We're going to start with 400. These are my 100 squares. 20, so 10, 2 10 sticks. Three ones. Now, just like we did with our ladybugs, we're going to start marking out. We want to get rid of 314. So here goes the 300. Here goes the 10. I don't have enough ones, so I need to regroup this. That means I'm going to cut it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, this 10 sticks turning into 10 ones. So the reason this one's X out is because I've changed it. It's still 10 here. Now I can get rid of the four ones. One, two, three, four. What am I left with? I'm left with 109 ones again. Write a number sentence. Our number sentence is 423 minus 314, which we know is 109. So my final answer, how many ladybugs are left in the garden? There are 109 ladybugs. How did we solve the problem? First, we subtracted 300. Next, we subtracted 110. Then we regrouped 110. into 10 ones and then finally we subtracted 13 ones or sorry we subtracted not 13 ones we subtracted four from four ones from 13 ones there we go I'm kind of writing in a hurry. So, first we subtracted the 300. And that left us with 100. Next, we subtracted 10. We got rid of that 10. Then we had to regroup our other 10 into 10 ones. So, last, we, I subtracted 4 ones from the 13 ones after our regrouping. And that's how we solved our problem. Okay, so here one more time is the ladybug page and the picture of our ladybugs where we had to regroup one of our tens and turn it into ten ones. Okay, that should finish up all of the pages in your interactive notebook for subtraction where we've cut and glue. We'll probably have an extra page for notes, but you won't have any more cutting and gluing to add to subtraction.